Hi guys, hope you are doing well. I'm back from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Uh, today's video is uh, how to use two integrated amps as preamp and as power amp. Uh, this is a Carver CM1090. You can see the model number, Sonic Holography integrated amp cm1090 and this one is carver's mxr 150 150 that means 150 watts very rare to find in the marketplace both of them are made in japan this one cm1090 i believe it's 100 watts or 110 watts per channel so i'm going to show you this is very basic how to use an integrated amp as preamp and power amp let me show you the back just a second okay okay <clears throat> you can see this one is connected on cd or ca uh, connectors that is connected my camp to play music so if you have tape turntable for phono cd or any other devices you can you have to connect with the audio uh, in like video in um, the, uh, tape 2 tape 1 all those options and you can see here the preamp out okay so if you have this on your amp integrated amp all you have to do just remove this plug or jumper from here just pull it off you can see the preamp out so I'm using this CM1090 as preamp so using this option pre amp out main in you can see there's another one main in so whenever i'm going to use the this amp as power amp i have to connect the cables here not here so this is the pre amp out okay that's one amp let me show you the back of the Carver CM uh, Carver MXR 150 okay. <clears throat> this is the MXR 150 so you can see here this is the pre out this is the power amp so from the CM1090, the preamp is going here, main in. You can see here the main in. So it is connected as power amp. So from preamp, preamp out to power amp here, main in. Remember, both of them are integrated amp. If you have any integrated amp at home and have these two features, main in and pre out, you can uh, use them as preamp and power amp. This is very simple. So if I want to use the MXR150 as preamp, all I have to do, this connection has to be here okay pre out you can see I have to take it off this is very easy to take off just pull it off with your fingers or with a nose plier or something very easy okay so this is just the basic um, video how to connect between two integrated amps as preamp and power amp so for the power amp, you have to connect the speaker wires, not on the preamp. So as pre uh, as power amp, 
it is connected two pairs of speakers and one more thing as preamp the view meters on Carver CM 1090 it's not gonna work also the speaker selections speaker A and B as there is no wire speaker wire connected of the back on the preamp so these two buttons are inactive okay the view meters are not going to work on the preamp but bass mid-range treble loudness hologram feature volume and the balance these features are working as preamp whenever i need to increase the volume I have to use the remote or by manually if i don't want to use the hologram feature just turn it off manually or with the remote however on the pre on the power amp on the mxr150 it is connected with the speakers so you have to choose between uh, speaker a and speaker b okay that's a speaker b speaker a this is off or you can play with the four speakers at a time so all the features or the knobs or anything any button noise reduction loudness volume nothing is going to work on the power amp except the speaker selections on the other hand on the preamp beside the view meters and speaker selections all the buttons all the knobs are working view meter this is the level spectrum lights the whenever i'm playing music here the view meters will show the level spectrum is going to show here on the power amp okay this is the power amp i just turned on uh turn it on and this is the cm 1090 let me show you i'm not going to play any music now uh just going to show you the um uh, view meters on the mxr150 <clears throat> increasing the volume on the cm 1090 you can see the view meters are not working at all however on the mxr 150 the music is playing i just turned off the speakers because i don't want to play and bother people at this hour um, so as a power amp the view meter or the level spectrums is showing on the MXR 150 but not on the CM 1090 whenever I'm going to switch this one as power amp and this one as preamp these view meters will work including the I have to connect the speakers on speaker A and speaker B terminals all right guys so that's it for today this video is for the um, how to connect two integrated amps as preamp and as power amp this is Kerber cm 1090 made in japan i believe it's 100 watts or 110 watts per channel and this one is 150 watts per channel this one is very rare to find in the marketplace as i said this is also made in japan um and there's one more thing i'd like to share for the cm 1090 there's a built-in converter inside converter means you can use this amplifier anywhere in the world where 110 or 220 volts are in those countries like in asia and you can play in the north america okay there's a switch inside just need to do it manually after opening the top cover here 
All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thanks for your time. Uh, hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.